please start. Okay. Uh, uh, am I audible? Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mariana. First of all, uh, I would like to thank the organizers of uh, this uh, 14 Ukraine algebra conference. They organize is a very good conference uh, <clears throat> during during the war in the Ukraine, and there is a very difficult times of all of you people. But you have managed uh, organize such a conference, so I give you the uh, uh, congratulations to all of you uh, for organizing this uh, nice conference. So now uh, today I will speak about uncertain identities with automorphism on Lie ideas in prime and semi-prime rings. I will divide my talk in a certain portion. I just uh, first, uh, uh, I just, uh, mm, I just, what is this? Uh, okay, I just uh, uh, introduction. Uh, uh, I just uh, fix uh, some notations is there. Then I go to the motivations is there, and whatever the results I got in is there, and then in the end. I have such some problems. If some people interested in this uh, direction is working in there, they can uh, do in this uh, things is there. So uh, throughout this talk, uh, unless I otherwise mention this, R uh, will be an associative ring. I denote ZR be the center of a, a ring R. QMR be the martinel quotient ring or the <clears throat> right ring of a quotient. And U, uh, it uh, uh, denotes as a Uthumi ring of a quotient. Uh, the basic definitions and the properties are objective is a very long uh, non uh, book of Pidar I just using is there, but I have to uh, uh, use some uh, basic definition in our talk is there. Uh, is I guess using a semi prime a ring is semi prime if the zero uh, ideal is the intersection of a prime ideal or otherwise we can say that a semi prime ring for every A belongs to R, AR is zero implies that A is equal to zero. Very simple uh, examples of a semi prime ring. Any prime ring is obvious, is a semi prime ring. Any reduced ring is also is a uh, semi prime ring. And then a ring. Uh, another definition I'm using is there is a prime. Uh, so a ring R is said to be prime ring if and only if uh, A R B is equal to zero uh, implies that either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. Uh, throughout this, I use this um, Lee product XY minus y x, I just say is a simply commutator of x and y. If two times this, we can say that in this form is I called is a, a second commutator of x and y. And this kth time, I guess, so is a kth commutator of a, x and y. I'm using also a standard uh, mm, uh, polynomial identity of a degree 4 as 4. I denote it as a form uh, in this form is there. The notion of a right quotient ring uh, was introduced by Yuzo Utumi in 1956. And in this form, a over ring Q of a ring R is said to be a right quotient ring uh, of R if a given PQ belongs to the Q, P is not in zero. And there exists a, a, a R uh, satisfying P of A is not equal to zero and Q of A is the element of R. With me prove that uh, every prime, semi prime rings uh, or more generally for a, any ring without uh, a total left zero divisor, there exists a, a maximum right uh, quotient ring and we call is a Uthumi right uh, quotient ring of R and also we call is a, a martyrdom ring of a, a quotient is there. We denote it by QMR is there. Uh, we use the dense ideal. So right ideal I of R is said to be dense if for every X, Y belongs to R. With x uh, non-zero, there exists another a is the element of r, uh, such that x a is not equal to zero and y a is the element of i. Uh, this is equivalent to say that r is a right uh, quotient ring of uh, uh, the i is there. The basic fact and characteristics of uh, this uh, Uthumi quotient ring of a uh, Martin quotient ring are this is a subring of a uh, QMR. If r a, a is the element of a QMR, there exists two-sided ideal of r, a r is containing in r, if i is a two-sided ideal of r and a is there such that a i is equal to zero, then we have to get in a is equal to zero. And for every i, uh, two-sided ideal of r, for all phi belong i to r, r module homomorphism, then there exists a is the element of qmr. Uh, so the phi of r is, the, is equal to a r, uh, for r uh, is the element of i. 
the center of qmr is called the extended centroid of r and it is denoted by c moreover c is a field if and only if r is a uh, prime ring is there now we have a next definition we have to using is a lie ideal so an additive subgroup l uh, of ring uh, r is called is a lie ideal of r if uh, when <clears throat> Whenever I L is the element of L and R is the element of R, L R is L R minus uh, R L is the element of Lie product is also the element of L. L. The notion of a this Lie product A B denotes the additive subgroup of R and generated by all A B A is the element of A and B is the element of A B. A, the, another wise we can say that a Lie ideal I this L L R is containing into uh, the R is there. Some uh, examples of the Lie ideals of R, any two-sided ideal is a Lie ideal. If center of R, we can just denote it as ZR, R commute with a zero. If this is a, another, any additive subgroup L for containing the center in this sense, and R, R, and also any uh, additive subgroups of R uh, containing R, R, this is the form of this. And also uh, the, uh, the additive subgroup, this of uh, generated by all the item potents in R, a square is equal to E, F can be written in this form, and G is this form. This These F and G are the item potent, and F minus G is equal to E into X. Is this, these are other examples of a Lie ideal. Uh, now, uh, in the functional identities of a ring, uh, R is an identical relation satisfies by elements in R, which involves some maps of R. Uh, we wonder if, uh, uh, in case R satisfies some functional identity, one can obtain information about the structure of a ring and the, uh, the form of the maps appearing in this uh, identity is there. For example, I check uh, one of the example for the functional identity. Uh, uh, we have a f1x uh, y plus f2 uh, y x and uh, g, x g1 y and g2 uh, x is equal to zero where f1 f2 g1 j2 are the maps from r to uh, qmr then the only possible solutions are f1x in the form of xp plus mu x f2 is the form of yq plus uh, mu x g1x is a mi minus px x and all this form where P and Q are the element of a, a QMR and phi in the mu and uh, nu are the uh, maps from uh, R to the extended centroid uh, of this uh, QMR. Uh, it is uh, uh, well known uh, that there is a strong relationship between the functional identities involving derivations, generalized derivation and other types of maps uh, and the structure of the a ring. So the basic definition, I have a derivation and additive mapping uh, D from R to R is called a derivation. If uh, DXY is equal to DXY plus XDY is a product to be satisfied with the addition. And this, uh, a simple example of a derivation is of course, uh, the usual derivative on various algebras consists of a differentiable function. Basic example in non commutator rings are quite different. Uh, in, for example, if we take a ring of two by two matrix over Z in teachers, the map of the form A, B, C, D, this in this, this is clearly verified that this map is a, a derivation on R is there. Uh, let A be a fixed element of R. In another derivation is the inner derivation we have to define in such a way. Uh, if we define a map uh, D from R to R by this uh, D of X in the Lie product X and Y for X, uh, the element of R, A be a fixed element of R, then we can easily uh, verify that this uh, uh, satisfy uh, the condition of a derivation additive and also the uh, satisfy that is <coughs> multiplicative roots of uh, this defining in this way. And we call this is a derivation as an inner derivation of R. So now uh, it is obvious to see that every inner derivation on a ring R is a derivation, but converse need not be true in general. Uh, for example, I just use uh, this uh, two by two matrix example. Uh, this is example clearly is a derivation, but this is not a, uh, an inner derivation is there. Uh, so uh, by uh, generalized, motivated by the this inner derivation concept, uh, we have to generalize inner derivation on a ring R. One usually means an additive mapping F from R to R. Fx can be in the form of Ax plus Xv. Uh, for a fixed AB is the element of R. 
Uh, for such a mapping f, it is easy to see that f of x, y can be written in the form of f, f x, y plus x, uh, y, b. And y, b, this is nothing but is equal to, this is an inner derivation. So y, b, where i, b is a inner derivation determined by b. And uh, motivated by this uh, observation in 1991, Presser uh, uh, defined the uh, more general case of a derivation is a generalized derivation. Uh, and then he said that an additive mapping f uh, from R to R uh, is called a generalized uh, derivation uh, with associated derivation D if f of x, y is equal to f x, y plus x, d, y for all x, y belongs to R. And he uh, obtained some interesting result in this paper. But uh, uh, in 1998, Bojan Hawala is... Uh, study the generalized derivation in in details and then he's uh, more study in the constant of uh, uh, context of the algebras and certain norm spaces there uh, further in 1990 the next uh, one year later uh, lee tk lee extended the definition of uh, this generalized derivation uh, in the form of uh, this an additive mapping f from i to u where i <coughs> uh, dense right ideal uh, I of R and U is the atomic quotient ring, and uh, it's called is a generalized derivation. Uh, if there exists a map a derivation D from I to U, as satisfied in this condition. And uh, uh, the importantly thing is this: Lee in this paper is proved that a very interesting result, and this is uh, uh, that every generalized derivation can be uniquely extend to a generalized derivation on U. And it is assumed of the form of this f is a form of a, f of x is a form of a x plus dx. So this is a very important result. Uh, those who are working in this direction, that means every generalized derivation is there. If we have a map, is generalized derivation in this form. This map is the form of a x plus dx. So we, a is a, a element of a, this u and uh, <laughs> derivation from is this form is there. So uh, now uh, familiar examples uh, of uh, uh, generalized derivations are derivations and generalized inner derivations. Moreover, generalized derivation, if we take a d is equal to zero, uh, discover the concept of a left multiplier that is an additive mapping f satisfy the condition f of x, y uh, is equal to f, x, and y. Uh, for all x, y is the element of a uh, ring R. Uh, since uh, uh, the sum of a two generalized derivation uh, is a generalized derivation. That means every map of the form fx is equal to cx plus uh, dx, where c is a fixed element of a r, and d is a derivation, is a generalized derivation. And if r has a, a unity, then all the generalized derivation have uh, this form is there. So uh, the development uh, of the general structure theory of a rings uh, a great deal of a work was done that showed that under uh, certain hypothesis, ring had to be uh, commutative or almost commutative. Uh, a classical result uh, of ring theory in this direction is established by Jacobson. Uh, that is a, a generalized at the same time uh, uh, the theorem of uh, wider one uh, that every finite division ring uh, is commutative and also the results that uh, any Boolean ring is a commutative, the theorem which we refer as namely, is this any ring in which uh, x to the power n is equal to x and is greater than one is a fixed integer is uh, necessary uh, commutative is there. Now inspired by uh, from the this result, several techniques have been developed uh, to investigate condition under um, which a ring becomes commutative, for instance, generalizing the Hallstein condition using the restriction on a polynomials, introducing derivations, generalized derivations, automorphism, and different types of a map we have to use in this. Looking for a special properties of a ring. Uh, in this context, some author studies the relationship uh, between the structure of, of a prime ring R and the behavior of a, some derivations on R. As a uh, as to derivations uh, having a nilpotent value, uh, the United Hallstein and Galbrano uh, obtained a result. Is this uh, the ring is a is take a ring R is a prime ring and uh, n is a fixed uh, positive integer, i.e. non-zero ideal of R, and d is any derivation 
and d of x to the power n zero for all x to y. Then he proved that uh, they proved that uh, d of i is equal to uh, zero. Uh, further, uh, Flazov and Lansky uh, obtained that if R is a ring with no known zero nil potent one sided ideal and D is a derivation such that dx to the power n uh, is equal to uh, zero for all x in some uh, non zero uh, ideal of R, uh, where n is a positive integer depending on x, then di is equal to zero. The extension of this theorem to Lie ideals were obtained by Kareni and Gambrano uh, in the case of a characteristic different from two. They imposed the uh, condition as that uh, characteristics should be characteristics are equal to uh, not equal to two, and d of x to the power n is equal to zero for all x are the element of a Lie ideals, and then he showed that <clears throat> in, in the same result concluding is there. Uh, but uh, in um, 1990, uh, Charles Lensky. Uh, prove this result for a uh, uh, Lie ideals for any arbitrary characteristic. That means uh, they say that if we have a, either characteristic different from two or characteristic equal to two, so these two be arbitrary characteristics and obtain the conclusion of this. Uh, in 2000, uh, Kareni and uh, uh, De studies the power uh, centralizing derivation on a non central Lie ideals of a prime ring and they obtained uh, that. Uh, in the form of a uh, uh, nil potent, so this take a Lie product and all this uh, power centralizing derivation. So yeah, uh, they use the R is a prime ring with center zeta, and characteristics R is not equal to two n is a uh, fixed positive integer, and L as even as a non central Lie ideal of R, and D is a derivation and dx x to the power n is center. Uh, then they uh, conclude that the R satisfies the standard uh, identity in a, a four variables. Uh, yeah. uh, in the year 2006, Wang obtained the similar results for automorphism of a uh, prime rings. He used the same thing except uh, this R is a prime ring with center and is a fixed positive integer. L is a non central Lie ideal of R. And in place of a derivation, uh, Wang assuming that alpha be an um, automorphism of R, then alpha u, u to the power n is center for all uh, u belongs to um, L, then either characteristics R is greater than n or characteristics R is equal to zero, then R satisfies the uh, student identity in uh, four variables there. So uh, at this uh, uh, earlier, as mentioned, this uh, property x to the power n x has the um, favorite of many ring theorists over the last uh, many decades in Jacobson, and then <clears throat> uh, this result by further uh, generalized by Scott and McHall, who proved that the commodity of a ring arbitrary ring not necessarily prime uh, follows even um, if the above condition is weakened as that means. He is just assuming that in the form of x, y to the power n uh, is equal to x, y for all x, y is the element of r and uh, n is equal to uh, this n, x, y greater than uh, 1. So uh, further, uh, Bell and Ling obtain direct sum decomposition of ring satisfying uh, this property in this form x, y is equal to x, y a whole square f of x, y where f, x, y is the same uh, ring of a polynomial in a two uh, non commuting uh, indeterminants. Later, Ashraf established a decomposition theorem uh, for a, a ring uh, <clears throat> satisfying yx is equal to x to the power n, fx, yx, and, and xy is x to the power n, fx, yx to the where m and r are uh, non negative integers, and f is the element of uh, x to z, which is a turn allow us to uh, determine the commutativity of r. Now, uh, in, uh, in this uh, perspective and inspired by the Wang automorphism result, one can consider the um, following ring properties, and uh, that means R be a ring and characteristics are not equal to two. I assuming that in place of a um, one automorphism, the two automorphism uh, M and N are uh, <coughs> greater than or equal to one uh, fixed for integer. Uh, alpha and beta be uh, two non-trivial uh, automorphism, and we assuming that alpha 
x1 x2 and and this is also a beta x1 x2 this is equal to zero and then we successfully prove that uh, r a, a is a uh, commutative is there further uh, we have to just choosing is in place of a lie ideal in the same result we have to in, in place of this arbitrary priming and we have to just take a uh, lie ideal uh, suppose r is a, a prime ring characteristics are not equal to 2 m and r greater than equal to 1 is a fixed integer l a non center lie ideal of r and alpha and beta are a two non uh, trivial automorphism where alpha u to the power n and beta u to the power m uh, is equal to zero for all u is the element of L, then either L is a center or R uh, containing M to C, the two by two matrix over C, L is a commutative and uh, U square belong to the center for all U is the element of a, a Lie ideal. The uh, sketch of this uh, uh, proof is depend upon into the, uh, this theorem. So I just roughly sketching about the proof is this, we have to Lie ideals and assuming this Lie ideal will be a non-central Lie ideal. And if L is a non-commutative, then uh, this uh, uh, zero is not equal to Y can be written in this form is a two-sided ideal of the form of I. And this is I of R is containing in L. So according to our hypothesis, alpha U to the power N holds for all U belongs to the IR since I, R and Q, uh, they are satisfy the uh, same generalized uh, polynomial identities with automorphism and that means also satisfy the Q and then this can be written in the form of a alpha x1 x to the power n beta x1 x to the power uh, sorry Lie bracket is missing m is equal to zero and by the previous theorem uh, we can say that this r is a commutative and this is a contradiction show that L is a commutative Lie ideal of r because we have to assume L is a non-commutative non-central Lie ideal of r. So, but uh, after that, we can using the, the results of uh, uh, Lansky and Montegrami, uh, which show that uh, this implies that R is containing into this form and uh, this form is there. So now, uh, um, now uh, in this perspective, uh, one can consider the following related ring property. Uh, so I just extend in this form, uh, let M N and uh, M N N S T V A four. Uh, a fixed uh, integer is called a fixed integer, and we are imposing the condition that t should be uh, less than or equal to m plus n plus n. And admits an automorphism alpha, and which have a satisfying this property okay, uv t, uv m, and then alpha uv n, and this as the center of r. We under uh, a rather weak assumption, uh, it is shown that if R admits an automorphism alpha satisfying this above condition, then either L is a center or R satisfies S4 identity. The result, we we have to successful this. This is a jointly work with uh, Vincent Jordi Philippis and myself. And we obtain this uh, RBA prime ring with center ZR. And we have a characteristic R is not equal to two. M and, uh, M and S, T are fixed positive integer. And T should be less than equal to some of these M plus N uh, plus S. And assuming that L a uh, non-centrally ideal of R, L be a non-trivial automorphism alpha. And then we have as satisfying this condition is equal to zero. Then we have to uh, clearly say that L is a, uh, <clears throat> Containing to the ZR. In place of a zero, if we have a same identity, successful this, if the member of uh, it belongs to the ZR, uh, so uh, the conclusion should be this uh, either uh, L containing into the um, ZR or um, R satisfy uh, the standard polynomial identity as for, uh, for degree four is there. Now, in place of a uh, prime ring, uh, we have to assume uh, the semi prime rings. If R is a semi-prime ring and characteristics are not equal to two, and then this satisfies this condition, again, hold this condition for R. In place of a U and V, uh, in place of a Lie ideal, we take as the element of a RR, then we have to successful this, uh, prove that uh, R is a um, uh, commutative is there. Uh, so the, now um, uh, I think, uh, we have only a few minutes are there, so I just quickly, uh, quickly, there's some of the problems we can constructing 
uh, in this direction. Uh, so um, the exception in this open problem. So derivation and generalized derivation, which satisfying appropriate algebraic condition on a subsets of R, assuming the form of the derivation, generalized derivation, and the structure of R. We expect that the behavior of a such automorphism is strictly connected uh, to the structure uh, of the ring R. So for, uh, I just, uh, yeah, some, uh, some of the uh, definitions I just said for defined in such a way, R B associative ring, T is in a subset of R F from R to R additive map. Uh, if and I just said that this additive map is called as a, condition preserving uh, SEP for um, T. If uh, F of XY and YK is C is equal to XYK and uh, uh, and further, um, we have to say that mutually uh, angel condition preserving if x, y, k is equal to zero in place of a, uh, we have a two, one additive map, I uh, have to take a two additive map uh, where f, x and g, y, k is equal to zero. Uh, for all x, y is the element of a t and a fixed k greater than equal to one. And also we can set mutually strong angel condition preserving SCP on t, uh, where f of x, uh, f, x, g, y, uh, k is equal to x, y, k for all x, uh, fix x, k is the element of uh, k greater than or equal to uh, one is there. And uh, we call is a angel condition preserving simply is equal to, equal to this. And we can, <clears throat> yeah, a strong angelic condition preserving uh, into this. So one of the problem we can construct in this form, suppose R is a prime or semi-prime ring, I just mentioned is a prime ring. And F, and F or G, we take a two uh, automorphism of a R, where F of X, Y, J, X, Y, K, and what F and G are mutually uh, <clears throat> strongly uh, angel condition preserving maps is there. So what is this alpha and B, F and G automorphism? What are the form of L, this uh, automorphism and what is the structure uh, of this R is there? Similarly, if we have to assuming this automorphism, if uh, EP is satisfying this, again, the same question is there. Uh, what is the structure and then what, what can say the, uh, this maps automorphisms, we have to just take in this. And we have to further extend in this form, F of X, X, uh, K, X, K, K is in this form. What about the F? And again, the structure of R is there. Uh, if we have N commuting uh, maps are there, if the f x to the power n is there, and then we have a take a two different uh, uh, m and k are there, so f x to the power m x, and then again we have a uh, thinking about uh, this uh, same uh, what uh, the or, uh, map of this and uh, all the things there. Uh, that's all what I can do. I think. I have to finish on time. And uh, this is the sum of the references. Uh, I already mentioned it there. And uh, thank you for your attention. For, I,